Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have my desk tour video for you guys. Also in this video, we'll be covering my 27 inch Thunderbolt display for my MacBook Pro. It sits on a really nice built-in metal stand. It has a resolution of 2560 by 1440, which is absolutely incredible. And in addition to that, on the back, it has three built-in USB 2.0 ports, a Firewire port, a Thunderbolt port, and even a Ethernet port. Also, on the monitor itself, it actually has a microphone on the top, and right below the microphone, it has an HD camera that can be used for video chats as well as actually recording video. And once the camera is active, a green light turns on, just like with MacBook Pro. Also, as I mentioned, this thing is higher quality than 1080p, so when you take a 1080p picture like this image and compare it to a 1440p image, it will look something like this. Now, this is the same exact picture. It was originally 1080 and I just blew it up to 2560 by 1440 and as you can see it definitely has more real estate than a 1080p monitor and finally it also has a built-in sound system I would highly recommend this monitor for anybody who's into video editing or into doing anything major on your computer that requires a lot of screen real estate because it fits perfectly with any Mac that's Thunderbolt capable and it even has a built-in MagSafe charger for the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air if you were to connect one of those computers to it. Moving on to the left of my Thunderbolt display sits my MacBook Pro. It's the 15 inch late 2011 model MacBook Pro equipped with an Intel i7 core quad core processor as well as eight gigabytes of RAM, 1.5 gigabytes of dedicated video RAM, a 750 gigabyte hard drive, and it just has the typical display. But other than that, I absolutely love this laptop. It's definitely one of the more powerful laptops out there. And I know some of you can argue that you can get a PC for or cheaper. However, in my opinion, nothing compares to OS X. Also in front of my MacBook Pro, I keep my 13 inch MacBook Air when I'm not using it around the house and I mostly use it for doing things on my website. It couldn't really compare to my MacBook Pro when it comes to video editing. However, it is definitely a great portable laptop that I use to surf the web as well as to actually post articles and edit things on my YouTube channel and like I said, my website. Now back behind everything, I have the latest two terabyte Apple time capsule that it serves as both a wireless hard drive and a wireless backup system for both of my Macs. And I also have it set up with my Apple TV in the other room so I can access movies on the Apple time capsule from the Apple TV, thanks to my jailbroken Apple TV and XBMC. Now in front of everything, I have the wireless Apple keyboard, Magic Trackpad, and the Magic Mouse. And they're all hooked up to my MacBook Pro at the same time, and they're just simply amazing. Now the Magic Keyboard and the Apple Trackpad are actually powered by rechargeable Apple batteries, which are sold separately. However, the Magic Mouse is powered by this. It's a Mobi Magic Charger. And essentially it comes with a base piece as well as a charging pack that you hook into the bottom of the Magic Mouse. And then when you set it on top of the base pad, it actually charges it free of wires. And it just simply hooks up through USB. USB. So this is a great charging solution that I use all the time for my Magic Mouse. To the left of the monitor and to the right of my MacBook Pro, I usually keep my iPhones and my iPod Touch. So I have the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 4, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. To the right of my Apple keyboard, Magic Trackpad, and Magic Mouse, I actually have a bamboo pen tablet that I use for precise editing in Photoshop, and it works extremely well, and it really did help me create some of the graphics that I use on my YouTube channel. And in front of it on the right hand side, I usually keep my headphones, which now consists of the the Beats by Dr. Dre wireless headphones, as well as the wireless Jaybird headphones, along with Jaybird's Bluetooth dongle. Now for those of you that are wondering, it's super easy to connect to the dongle. All you have to do is hold down the button on it until the lights flash, and then you do the same exact thing on any Bluetooth A2DP receiver. And in this case, I'm using the Jaybird headphones, and once they're connected, the lights will stop flashing and they'll just blink blue. And then you can connect the Bluetooth dongle to a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and then it will actually stream the audio to the receiver free of wires. Back behind that, I have my 32 gigabyte iPad 2 complete with a smart cover sitting inside of a Griffin stand that was intentionally made for a first generation iPad, so I've had it for a while, but it still works with the iPad 2. Now to the left of that, I usually keep my PS Vita, and for those of you that don't know, the PS Vita is Sony's next generation portable gaming device with a 
a five inch touch screen. And also kind of in the back area of my desk, I keep my Blue Yeti THX certified microphone, which is actually what I'm using to do the voiceovers for this video right now. And attached to it, I have a PF1 pop filter by Sterling Audio, which I just picked up. So hopefully the audio in this video sounds better than the audio in previous videos, because now I'm able to turn up the gain more without having to worry about certain sounds popping. Back behind that, I have the HP Monster cleaning solution, as well as usually a microfiber cleaning cloth or two. And finally, to complete my desk tour, to the back right of my Apple Thunderbolt display, I have a 10 port USB 2.0 hub that's actually connected to the Thunderbolt display through that USB 2.0 port. So that extends the USB capabilities of my Mac through the Thunderbolt display connection. So I hope you guys liked my desk tour and Thunderbolt display overview video. If you have any comments, leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to rate this video up if you liked it. Follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and add me to one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.